size can be deceptively quick. And smart from Mikazi ducks into that shot and puts a kick to the leg. You want to beat a big man, Christian, you take him off his feet. Literally cutting him down to size, eh, Corey Green? It'll take a while, I'm sure, with a guy this big. There's a lot of him to cut down. Mikazi has got to keep using that speed. Series of boots, couple of forearm shots now from Mikazi. Mikazi off the ropes. Oh, he's caught, though. Tossed in the corner by the throat from Brian Malonis. And now a big right to the head, a couple of them. Make it three. Taking Mikazi right off his feet. A handful of hair from Malonis, dragging Mikazi to the middle of the ring. Scoop from Malonis. Mikazi gets over him. Drop kick from Mikazi. Beauty. Another one. Reeling the big man. Irish whip. No way. Is that going to work? And out of the ring. In a heat. And almost out of the West End Rec Center. Goes, oh man, Kid Mikazi doesn't want to be trying to match strength with Brian Malone. Kid Mikazi having a little trouble getting back into the ring at this point. Yeah, Malone is going to try to run track here against Kid Mikazi. That's not going to work for him. He better not chase him around too long. He's going to get tired out, Christian. Mikazi is so quick. Both these men not team. playing to their strengths right now. Kim Mikazi trying to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with this behemoth. And now, Brian Malone is thinking he can outrun Kid Mikazi, which is just about crazy. Oh, and a beautiful drop kick right there from Mikazi. Keeps Malone out of the ring. Malone is tasting the sting of the feet of Kid Mikazi. Ariel chasing feet Ariel feet. around. Oh, man, right over the top. Oh, and bear hug. Oh, no! Kid Mikazi just went right into the corner, courtesy of a bear hug and a running shot from Brian Malonis. He's being scraped up off of the West End Rec Center floor right now by Malonis. Oh, head first in the apron out there. First and those aprons are reinforced. Helps give the ring its shape, you know. It's too bad that Kid Mikazi's forehead wasn't reinforced because he's going to be feeling that tomorrow. Probably for a couple days after, too. Now back in the ring, Mikazi's real and Malonis looks real happy with himself. Two handfuls of hair, or hands full, depends on which way you want to say it, and a scoop. Devastating body slam, and Brian Malonis in control, goes for the pin here. But he only gets two on Kid Mikazi. Ariel trying to get this crowd worked up, give Kid Mikazi some additional support. 
And it's easily working. It's going to take more than that. Malonis using Kid Mikazi as a hassock of some kind to rest his feet on. And Brian Malonis in firm control of this one right now. Rich Bass warning him again about those handfuls of hair. Oh, backbreaker. Nasty, and Mikazi's in big trouble here. This could do it. No, nah, it's only two, Christian. Look at the tenacity of Kid Mikazi. He's pulling himself up using Brian Malonis as a ladder. Gets that forearm to the gut. Another one. Come on, Kid. And now using him as a punching bag, which also seems pretty effective. Off the ropes goes Mikazi. Oh, and a power slam. Yikes. That's going to do it, right? Oh, my God. I can't believe Mikazi. The tenacity of Kid Mikazi. Layton choke right in front of the referee. Bass didn't like that very much. Uh, nor did Kid Mikazi, I'm gonna guess. Is this oh man, I can't. Oof. The back of Brian Malonis acting as a shield. I couldn't really see what he was doing because the guy is like a movie screen up there. One more time going for the pin. With his forearm across Mikazi's face to uh, add a little extra leverage. Handful of hair from Malonis. Oh, and a chop. Sends Mikazi reeling back into the corner. Kid Mikazi right now is desperate as Ted Kennedy at last call, let me tell you. Malonis went for a hip toss, didn't work for him. Mikazi sneaks in a quick drop kick. Forearm smash from Mikazi, another one. Backs Malonis into the corner, uh, into the ropes, I mean. Irish from across now for Malonis. Oh, no. Oh, no! 360 slam! Malonis goes for the pin. And he again only gets two. Very impressed with Kid Mikazi's tenacity here, Christian. Rich Bass once again cautioning Malonis. Malonis really, he seems like he's almost kind of toying with Kid Mikazi. I don't think Mikazi is someone he really should be toying with. Irish whip. Back. Oh, and it's a bear hug. Dead center of the ring. Kid Mikazi's not going to last long with this, Christian. Absolutely not. Ariel trying to get the fans behind Mikazi. Give him a little support here. I think what he'd prefer to have was some oxygen at this point, Corey Green. Forearm smash, breaks the hold. Ooh, the ear boxing. Back, oh my. What a backdrop. Did you check out the height? And Kid Mikazi is down and hurt again. Oh, come on! Wow, referee Rich Bass saying one more time, just two. Unbelievable that Kid Mikazi is still holding on. He had more height in that last flip than Tom Cruise doing a jump on a couch. In the corner now. Right from Malonis to the head. Another big right. Oh man. Mikazi's head's just bouncing around all over the place like a bobblehead doll, Christian. Kid Mikazi started off this match a lot shorter than Brian Malonis. He's a lot shorter still. Malonis tried to squash him right there in the corner, but Mikazi got himself out of the way real quick. Again, Mikazi's too fast for that kind of move, Malonis. What are you gonna learn? Pulled a matrix move on him right there, Corey Green. It was a bullet time maneuver. Another drop kick from Mikazi. Can he get this big guy off his feet? Off the ropes goes Mikazi. Ducks under the clothesline. Springboard drop kick. Finally, Malonis is down. And the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Only two count now for Mikazi. Mikazi's got to get on this big guy while he's down. Boot from Mikazi. Backs Malonis in. Ah, oh, Malonis is so strong and big. He's just able to stop Mikazi with whatever he's doing. Choke now. No, no, choke slam. You know, Christian, it was a choke slam. It looked like that Mikazi might have got his head underneath Malonis' face on the impact there. 
And the Lotus, it looks like, took the worst of that. Both these men struggling now. Mikasi's taking a hell of a beating already. And there he goes, Mikasi's just laying out some shots left and right. Oh my! The Lotus just shrugs it off and then rearranges his face like Michael Jackson. Thunderous boot! Leg drop applied, that really should do it right here! And you can hear the frustrated scream coming out of the mouth of Brian Malotis. He really thought he had him right there. Look at Mikazi's almost unconscious. And Malotis looks as angry as if he just stole the last donut. Suplex, it's gonna be a beauty. Oh, uh, Mikazi squirms out of it. Nice move. Single leg against the Gary. And both men are down. Malotis' eyes rolled to the back of his head on that one. We got a lovely view of the ceiling here at the West End Rec Center. Again, it's only two. If Mikazi could have been a little quicker getting over there for the pin, maybe he would have had a shot at Mikazi heading to the outside. He said, going up. Kid Mikazi all the way to the top. What's he got? Oh, no. Went for the frog splash and shot. He beats the knees of Brian Malonis. And that's nothing but trouble. And the big splash from the Lotus! Forget about it! Brian Malonis victorious over Kid Mikazi in this big match. Trying to drag Kid Mikazi out of there. Ariel dragging Kid Mikazi out of there before Malonis eats him. That Brian Malonis is a big, big man and a talented wrestler to boot. Brian Malonis victorious here on the eve of redemption.